Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome to another Steam One-Shot with Evan's Remains. Now, this is yet another one of the Steam Spring Festival demos to be shown off on this channel. I do like doing a lot of these. Uh, Evan saves automatically begin the game. Yes, I would. I can't imagine there's too much of this demo. I'd need to worry about saving too much. But you never know. My name is Evan. I'm on an uninhabitable island in the Pacific. Ooh, that's not good. Coordinates are attached to the letter. Send dices. Oh, uh, oh. You actually, oh, these are literally Evan's remain. Oh, God. So. So, what? How you feeling? Did you go to college with Nicola? Why? You know that feeling of dread when you have an exam coming up and you haven't studied? Why wouldn't I have studied? Ah, uh, forget it. You seem like you're the type to stay and study. I feel like I might be sick. Hm. I'm right here with you guys. This. Got this. With me? Miles away, safe behind the computer screen. Relax, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. I can handle this. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm ready whenever you want. Okay, so I'm hoping this is an hour boat. Woo! Oh, that's cool. That's a nice jump, actually. Oh, well, and there's this. Jesus Christ. Ready for that. Woohoo! Alright. I, I completely forgot this was supposed to be like a platforming kind of thing. Yeah, you, you wouldn't like tell by half of how the game looks. Okay. Wait, how am I supposed to do... Oh, I see. I get what they want me to do. Ah, shoot. Think. I already like this a lot, actually. Ooh! You have actual water physics for when I went through the water? Oh my god, it does. It has at least a different texture. Whoa. That's cool with all the waterfalls in the background. Okay. Um. Two. Uh, ink? Oh god! It's just a teleport. I was like, oh, I thought I was gonna make the green disappear. Woohoo! For solving cryptic ancient puzzles. Especially ones that require you to jump like five feet in the air. But seriously, there's some wild gadgets here. What? They're in my way, right? What are you expecting me to do? Swim around them? You think I'd just wake up like this? I'd spend two hours on my hair dunk in the Pacific. I'm talking about the Evan thing. Eh, if you ask me, I don't think this is the place. You don't. Haven't you thought? Maybe someone's just pulling our leg? What do you mean? You know, a prank. Like, maybe he's pulling one over on us. Sending us on a wild goose chase so we're even less likely to find him? You know it's incredibly difficult to Im imitate someone's handwriting? It's like a signature. Completely unique. So, no, then? Well, there goes my theory. Ugh! But it was just a theory. A GAME THEORY! But just look at this place. What would he be doing here? Baron, no signs of life. Apart from half a million dragonflies. Or they're mayflies. What 
whatever. We just gotten started, guys. Is that another one of your canned responses? Let me know when you have one. Alright, fine. You gotta, you gotta admit, this is pretty freaking cool. Okay. Kind of nice, I think. Finally, Evan. Evan, do you have any idea how much? Oh, sorry. Guess that's not Evan. I thought you were someone else. You're barely seeing this blazing sunlight. Excuse me, I'm looking for a boy. Well, that looks pretty much like him. Uh. <coughs> ex excuse me. Him? I right, listen here, you little piece of shit. Okay, but well, seriously, ahem. Yes. My name is uh. What's it again? Oh, yeah. Benil. Pleasure. What was it again? You forgot your name? I'm guessing it's a fake name. Looking for a boy named Evan. Cause it's Dices, obviously, is her actual name, but. Eh. Seen him or maybe heard something? And Evan? Evan Goldstein. Never heard of him. I didn't know that was possible. What's so interesting about that notebook? Well, at least someone's having a good time. Though, so, if we consider the. Hey, I'd really appreciate if you could... Look. I'd love to help you, but I'm kind of in the middle of something here. So if you'll excuse me, I gotta go. Toodles! And I'd love to kick you. Well, what do you know? I demand an explanation? Uh, what are you talking about? That this was an uninhabited island. Hey. Just as surprised as you. I don't no one else knew about this place. Vices. I know as much as you do here. Keep trying to get some information. If anyone else is here, gotta be connected. In one way or another. You know what our boy's like? No, I don't. Can you cut that out? Oh, what up? Speaking in first person, like you're right here with me. Makes me nervous. Surprise, I am right here. I'm the one with feet in the sand. Fine. What do you... Why don't you try to keep getting it? Better. Ten points for effort. Ten points for Gryffindor! Over now. Yeah, bye. Suppose that sort of helps? Weird. Oh? <laughs> to noodles. We meet again, my little guilty pleasure. Well, shoot. What do we got? A holographic house? Oh, great. I'm gonna say it just once. Move, speak, or try anything stupid in your regret. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Let me explain. I'm hungry, okay? I haven't eaten since, um, well, yeah, I can barely remember. Sit. Hey, hey, come on, man. You you believe me, right? I'll stay calm and not scare the neighbors, okay? You deaf? I said, sit. Uh, and everything was going so well. I heard you. I heard you, okay? I'll take a seat. Happy. I'm gonna steal anything. If that's what you're worried about. Well, except for food. Yeah. Excuse me for starving. 
Seriously, what and where is this place? Oh, good lord. What are you gonna do? Oh, I guess we'll find that out soon enough, won't we? Or maybe not. Guess we're just keeping on keeping on then. Oh, I wouldn't do for a double jump though. I know it would be very um, impractical, but I do like double jumps in games. Okay, what the heck? can't get anywhere. And I can't, like, jump with this. If I was to do that, and then jump, and then go up. I can't make that. I need to somehow get it so that I can get over this. Go here. Get there. I jump back left. What would happen if I jump all the way to this? Oh, that. Okay. Woo! God. I see you're very focused on your notebook. Oh. I get it. You're a traveler and you like to draw the landscapes you visit? Black Stasis, Eve. So, that's what you're doing here. I'm just holding this homeless guy captive in my house. Can I ask what you're doing here? Well, you can, but I ask you first. You should be, you should be here. I realize I'm violating this island's criminal code. Clearly well enforced. What do you know about this place? I know that as long as I don't find Evan, I won't leave, nor will I stop asking you questions. Though if you could assist in the slightest, we could both stop wasting our time talking in circles. The uninhabited island. How strange it seems to be that I've just found someone. I already told you. Never heard of him. You may be on the wrong island. Let me see. Latitude, right, 28. Oh, what a surprise! You won't believe this. It's the right island. Uh, I don't have time to be a host. Oh yeah, you seem like you're really busy with all those other things you're doing. Let's get the his heck up out of here. What? Oh. That's kind of simple. What? Did I loop? Didn't I go through that same monolith before? Man, what is wrong feeling a deja vu? Yeah, I was like, I just looped. I, I swear I just looped. What the hell is this? An actual platform that doesn't freaking disappear. Oh, okay, well, I need to do this. I'm guessing go back. This, that. Activate that. 
You're good. See, easy peasy, Dr. Squeezy. What's up, Doc? Can I ask you a favor? Tell me. My license to kill? That hard to crack, huh? It doesn't even begin to describe it. What's his problem? Nicola, I've had enough. I want to go home. I don't think this is the place. Calm down, Dice. Listen, I think I got an idea. Better be good. Here's what we'll do. Next time you run into him, I'll whisper to you what you should say. Meet after me, okay? We're going to crack. Let's know something. Uh, just don't put my foot in my mouth, please. Leave it to me. Oh, and one last thing? Yeah. Monoliths have teleportation technology. Pretty impressive, don't you think? I mean, considering the years, they must have. Cool, I guess. Maybe Evan has some connection with this place after all. As ever, you remain keenly observant. Anyway, I'll be looking for your signal. Okay. It's kind of weird that just now you've decided to say, yes, of course they have. this. Jump there. Jump there. Okay, exactly how am I supposed to do that? Like, how am I supposed to get here? Jump here. Oh, that way. I see. You cheeky little. Woo! Try to outsmart me, too. Ah, I see it. For the last time. Oh, no. Not this time, buddy. Now you're gonna shut your mouth and I'm gonna speak. Got it? Oh. Well, he... I'm investigating something serious. And. How do I put this? You're wasting my time. My name is Vanille. I'm here on behalf of Upbring Labs. I'm looking for someone important. Far more important than you, apparently. A boy named Evan. Prodigy boy. Missing. Have you heard of him? His name has been everywhere the last few years. Actually, I'm being honest here, I've never. Shut up, I'm not done yet. Message for help was recently received from an unknown island, which makes you, my friend, a suspect in his disappearance. Follow? This being here on uninhabited island means you're involved somehow. Keep refusing to speak, I'll be forced to arrest you. So, if you want to keep walking around, writing fanatically, frantically in that notebook, you better start stop. Start stalking? He says talk. It's supposed to be talking, but you said stalking. What? What? Talking. Better start talking. Okay, I was gonna say, what the heck? <laughs> Guess that worked. The Neo, right? Mind following me? I want you to see something. What is it? Don't you see for yourself? Or why don't you see for yourself? Okay. Why? Maybe because I don't trust you! Just putting that out there! And here we are again. Well, that was unexpected. Thanks. Wasn't it easier to knock on the door? Yeah. You know how well that usually goes. It was fine here. Doesn't mean your neighbors share the philosophy. Do you steal from the neighbors too? Nope, just knocked on the doors. What? I already told you, begging wasn't working. You could stay. Wait, for real? How long? As long as you need to. You let a stranger stay in your house. Oh, no, I don't believe that! Bo Freak! Look like you already have enough problems. May not be the best place. And since it's technically holographic right now. Look, sleeping in the dump to this has to be my lucky day. Huh. Still weird that you have neighbors on an uninhabited island! Just saying!
find him, not the other way around. Oh, if you only knew. Things are never simple when he's all Legendary Evan. Could he really be here? Uh, fine. You're the boss. I'll continue after a little now. And by little, I mean that. I'm exhausted. Rest up, Dices. You know how to reach me if you need anything. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Whoa! What the? Virtual bedroom? Dang it, is everyone's house made of holograms? What the heck? Uh... God, what time is it? I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Good morning, Nicola. I said good morning, idiot. Is he sleeping? But why isn't this thing working? Huh? My transmitter. Oh no, 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 where is it? That's not good. Am I gonna be stuck on a- They're gonna kill me. Am I gonna be stuck on an uninhabited island? Huh? What's this? Is that a mayfly? Strange? What? Clover? Huh? What in the name? You nearly scared me to death. What in the world is that thing? Hey, Clover. Perfect timing. I was looking for you. Uh, is anybody there? Sorry, the first time someone's opened up a portal in my face. Why were you looking for me? Something strange has happened, and I don't exactly know what to do? And, well, you're the only other human being around here. Okay. Shoot. Uh, first, would you mind coming in? It makes me nervous that you're still out there. Um, do I have to enter that thing? Yeah, I'd be a lot more nervous of a freaking portal just standing in my face, just saying, than, you know, you sitting in your bedroom on the other side. I'm not experienced in traveling with the portals, you know. I am. I played Portal 1 and 2. No big deal. Promise me I'll keep each and every one of my atoms. Just getting here already. I guess it wouldn't be harder. I See, here's the thing. With teleportation, it'd probably be a lot harder to teleport somewhere. But opening a portal is very different because it's just like folding space over itself. You wouldn't lose any atoms because you're not traversing from one area to another via instant transmission. You're just moving the space, not yourself, which makes it a lot safer, technically. There's no living being would be there. Opening a portal between somebody's face, though, technically wouldn't do anything but has this probable bad sides. Uh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Fascinating. I've been out of touch with technology though. It's beyond anything I could have imagined. Uh, too far to go back now, I guess. Is that the sunrise? You gotta be kidding. Are we on the other side of the world? What I get for taking weird jobs? Be living under a rock. I've missed out on technology like this. You're technically living in a hologram house! Somebody please save me! Fascinating. Simply fascinating. Benio, just where are we? That's gonna be a very long answer. And we don't have much time. Short answer, Evans mentioned. Blah blah blah. So he's the brains behind your crazy portals, huh? Finally get it now? What are you doing on the island? That's what I came to find out. How many times do I have to say it? Sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you. It's just, I don't know what to do. Well, first, you kind of need to calm down. That'd be a good start. That's always a good start, yes. You won't get far with your mind racing. Take a deep breath, exhale, and then tell me what happened. <sighs> Alright. Take a look at what appeared here when I woke up. Also, my transmitter seems to be missing. Mayfly? 
Any idea who could have any idea who could have done it? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But something tells me it was Evan. I feel like he's taunting me. Like he's saying, hey, I'm here, come get me. Makes think that. Well, first, this is a sealed room. You can only get in and out using the portal. The portals are open with the key Upbring gave me. I want the name fool you. It's a little device with a button. Every key has a unique ID. What I'm getting at is the only person who could open this portal is me. Nobody else should have been able to get in here. Unless, well, the creator of the portals. Uh, unless you're the creator of the entire portal system. I guess in that circumstance, no key is probably no problem. But that's just speculation. Now, technically, teleporting in, if you know the location, is also a very good possibility. With everything on the island, and knowing that there's teleportation technology there, you could technically just teleport yourself into that room without needing the portal. Since it's not in another pocket dimension or anything like that, since you're still on Earth. And why a drawing? Beats me. Or also could have just went through the window, assuming that's an actual window. And assuming you are actually on Earth. But like I said, drawing is just a red herring. At least something to prove you he here. Could have been anything. I guess a drawing of a mayfly makes it more mysterious? That all something he would do? Uh, according to Nicola's descriptions, I'd say it would. Who is Nicola? Bombarding me with questions doesn't help, you know. You need to know the context in order to help you. Alright, well... One, Evan's been missing for years, but recently revealed the upbringing that he's on this island. Two, he asked me to come meet him for some weird reason. Wait, wait, wait. What? Slow down, will you? What the heck is upbringing? The second time you mentioned it. Scientific research and development firm. Evan was an important member. Can I go on? Perfect. Continue. Three. Send me to find Evan in constant communication with Nicola. From upbringing. Four, I woke up and there's a drawing in the room. Five, transmitter using to talk to Nicola disappeared. Better? The important part is Evan may be here. My orders are to meet him. But I guess that's the only thing I have to worry about. But not knowing exactly what's going on is kind of troubling. What if there's someone else here? What if they want to hurt me? What does Evan have to do with this island? Everything just part of a big joke of his? And besides all that, why did they send me? Starting to get why you're so desperate. Shouldn't they give you more details if they send you on a mission like that? Sounds like you barely have any idea what's going on yourself. Surprise! I barely have any idea what's going on myself. You asked them for details? I tried, but they didn't seem like the conversational type. Don't forget the island hides a secret that anyone would want. You think Evan or Upbring may also be looking for this artifact? It's just a theory. A GAME THEORY! But it wouldn't be illogical for the island to- or it wouldn't be illogical for the island to be a target because of that. Although, I can't imagine what kind of motives they have. Now, when you're not a big corporation, it's hard to think like that. I guess money is always behind everything. What do you think I should do? Finish a job? Evan? Easier said than done. Even though I know that I should be doing Nicholas said the sooner or later Evan will show up. So that's not the major issue. Rather, it's not knowing why, what I'm going to find on this island along the way. Otherwise, you're scared. Shut up. I'm not scared. It's just insecurity about what may happen. Isn't that literally the definition of fear? You alright? I'm in the middle of nowhere on an uninhabited island looking for a missing boy. Technically, you're in your bedroom! How do you think I feel? I don't think I can do it. Not without Nicola. Also in your pajamas, my dad. I mean, you don't have to do it all yourself, you know. Be feeling generous? You have something in mind? I don't know if I call it having something in mind, per se. But you could just join me deciphering the message. Because if Evan, or whoever is here, it would be a stretch to assume they're looking for, well, the same thing. Only be a matter of time until we cross paths. If the message tells us where the artifact actually is. They also tell us where he is. I'm pretty sure Evan's looking for the same thing. 
Nah. I just can't come up with anything better. But maybe you'll feel safer if we stick together. You're acting like I'm some damsel in distress. I can take care of myself, you know. Anyways, you're right. That's not unreasonable to assume that Evan's looking for the same thing. But if that's the case, what if he's already found it? I remind you, he's been missing for a long, long time. Even though to have been able to do virtually. Enough to have been able to do virtually anything. I wouldn't worry that much. Why not? I doubt he has this. Eternal is his son and Eternal will become? <coughs> oh! That's what you meant by monoliths. Being words. I thought you meant the other ones. Eternal is the son and Eternal will become. So I've been climbing up freaking words? I'm gonna be doing puzzle words! God dang it! Um, your notebook? This is what's engraved on the model so far. So it wasn't just my imagination. The model did repeat itself. That explains it. And that'll help us because... You'd be surprised how difficult it is to get this notebook. Even for a gigantic corporation? I think it might be slightly underestimating their power and influence. And probably satellite cameras. You can't get something if you don't know it exists. So the notebook's existence is a secret? You could say that. That's why I'd like to believe that uh, not only am I here on time, but that I've got the upper hand. Anyway, all on the same path. Find the artifact, you find Evan. Win win. You gain by helping me. Does it always have to be about gaining something? Yeah, well, that's true. Well, well. I guess not. I just want to make it clear. I'm not afraid, and I don't need anyone else to actually take care of me. But, given our similar objectives, it seems to make sense to stick together. Temporarily. Sure. Oh, and you'll walk in front. Whatever you want. I'll wait for you on the island. I'm coming too. Sure. How do you get out of that portal? <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. Um, right. Sealed room. Would you, uh, open the portal, please? Oh, yeah, that's right. I almost forgot. And, um, you're gonna going like that? What do you mean? You're in pajamas. Oh, that. Of course. People dress, right? I'll open the portal, you go out, and I'll catch up with you. Okay. That's what I figured! Man, this is a lot of freaking story so far! Jeez, and it's still not even over! That's surprising as heck! Everything ready? Uh, I think so. By the way, there's something I can't get out of my mind. Upbring wanted to make certain this island remained hidden. Which leads me to a really puzzling question. How did you find it? Courtesy of a friend. He found it. And then gave me the notebook. Island's location is in the notebook. Don't ask me how he got it, though. I haven't the slightest idea. Alright, what's your friend's name? Vincent. Vincent Ball. I see. Why? I want to make sure it wasn't someone from Upbring. I imagine anyone who leaks information ends up, well, regretting it. Why do I feel like that's Evan? And he gave you that notebook to find the thing so that you could do it and bring it back for Evan. In fact, that probably... Oh my god, I've already figured out this whole game from just a demo! Vincent Vall is Evan, and you're gonna bring back the immortality thing for Evan, who's posing as Vincent Vall, because he's a friend, and he's gonna take care of your house and all that, and send you on that goose chase so that Upbring won't find it, and since he's probably the only one who could be smart enough to find it, yada 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 yada! Speaking of if you control the entire island, and yet I don't see a single trace of human activity. Eh, who knows? Maybe they have a secret underground base or something? I'm hoping you're wrong. Really, I am. Artifact is, well, my only hope for it. Or maybe Vincent Ball Evan sent him off to get the artifact so that he could save somebody else. True that? Oh yeah, that's right. You mentioned wanting it for someone else. 
Could you elaborate on that? It's my little sister. What happened to her? Let's say, well, her health. Not in the best condition. And, um, doesn't have much time left. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea. Quick, idiot, say something before you ruin it more. Uh, what's her name? Dices. Heh, <laughs> that's strange. I thought I heard Dices. That's what I said. I know, weird name. <laughs> yeah, bizarre. Why? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. What the heck is going on in this place? I'm, uh, sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm already here, right? Nothing wrong, Benil? No, it's just, uh, you go ahead. I'll catch up, okay? As you wish. Okay! Well, that's something. God. What have I gotten myself into? Nicola, I better get news from you soon. Don't you need a transmitter for that? Though I feel like this might be the end of the demo. Would be a good spot for it. Yep, that's what I thought. Thanks for playing. Wishlist the full version now. I like this game. I like this game a lot. I, I already had this on my wishlist before I even knew the demo would be out. But this is so much better because, oh my god, now I am intrigued in both the platforming, the visuals, and the story. Ooh. This is intriguing. This is intriguing. Feels like some kind of Sword Art Online kind of thing. Don't ask why. It just feels like that if you watch the anime. So, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe down below. And we'll see you next time with more Steam one-shots and more Steam Spring Festival demos. Peace.